I was just gonna stick, like, an audio over this and call it a day, but that felt boring. So it's Zom's chatter time. I'm basically just gonna say stuff about, like, the deskin process, and how I got to the end product, like an art video or something. So I decided to make these two because of a sweet comment, and also because I've actually been meaning to look into Danganronpa 04, future purposes for a while but never really got around to it. Having their designs to use could help my motivation, who knows, but not knowing their personality, or how they act, kinda stunned my creativity a bit. I mostly went off what I already knew, or saw in fanart, like giving Ryoko turned down eyes for a sweeter look. Also, spoiler, since Ryoko is Junko, I think, I gave her freckles. I had canon that Junko has freckles she covers up with makeup and, I don't really think Ryoko would have to cover them up. Originally, I kind of wanted to give Ryoko curly hair, but the more I stared at the pin straight hair in the official art, it kind of fizzled out. I was also sort of tempted to give her socks that went over her shoes, to kind of nudge at the Gyaru fashion Junko uses. Of course, like everything I've mentioned, I decided against it. I didn't really like how it looked. Plus I used the pant extender item way too much as is. I ended up stuck on Ryoko and had to stop working on her for a while, because I just didn't know what to do with her. Afterwards I moved to Yasuke, before I even made Yasuke, I knew I wanted to give him more like board eyes, and I had to reference my SK8 Tadashi design for the item things, which is why. You see him flashing on the screen, sob, but it's okay because Yusuke looks fire I think. I at least achieved what I was looking for. Honestly, I was super lost on how to do his hair for a while. Bekuase I didn't want to kokichi him and give him that hairstyle. You know the one. But also none of my first options really looked right either. I think I got it well enough in the end, hopefully. When I was making his face and hair I was using the most baby girl reference ever. He was so yassified. Every time I looked down I giggled a little because it's like Men have the most luscious eyelashes ever Who are you fluttering those at baby girl? It was making a little more sense why Ryoko is apparently in love with him Maybe I'm just a little biased since Rentaro's my favorite And he has the longest luxurious eyelashes Featuring his own mascara brand and everything Little side rant I never got the people who made Rantaro super flirty, or like smooth. I always saw him as having no game, if it wasn't accidental. Mostly because he always said in game that he wasn't that type of guy when people started asking if he was flirting with them. I don't know though. Anyway, back to Yasuke. I've never really seen people include them in things like Fangans, which feels like suck a miss chance, you know? I think Ryoko has a lot of Fangan Rampa potential, or the mana heads never being used. In fact, I think a lot of Fangan ideas are recycled from the main games, which can be done well yeah, but I kinda wish we got to see more characters like Ryo from DR3. Oh, and there's a continuous theme with removing characters like Nekomaru and Imposter who have different builds than the usual Danganronpa characters. I know they're harder to make, but trying isn't going to kill you. I know two people who actually do include these kinds of catractors. Little Miss Blue and Mukoro is life. It's hard having a rarer favorite in this economy because it feels like a lot of the larger Fengen creators hate everyone ever in Danganronpa. It makes me sad to look at character opinion charts, or hear people say things like if it wasn't for this specific character, I'd be out of the fandom. I know that everyone has their own opinions, but it feels like it's become a trend at this point. Okay sorry, I knew I said back to Yasuke and then went on another rant, but I didn't have much to say about him. I kind of just made him. I do really like his design though, gotta say, wish he'd put his toesies away. If anyone knows the entire Danganronpa Zero lore and wants to dump it in the comments, feel free. I'd be happy to read through it. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Here's the final product. I'll see you next video. Love you guys.